Hi, this is Dr. An, and I wanted to shoot a short video, well, information video on uh, three most commonly prescribed medication for nerve pain, such as uh, burning, numbness, tingling sensations um, in the feet or hands on the legs. Okay, these patients typically might have gone through a, a test called NCV and EMG testing. And whether the test was done or not, um, they're almost always put on one or two, three of these medications that I'm about to go over, okay? So the, by far, the most commonly prescribed drug for peripheral neuropathy is, gab is called gabapentin. And the generic name is gabapentin, brand name is called Neurontin. What it is, is a anti-convulsant uh, or anti-seizure medication that was approved uh, back in 1993. It is the 10th most commonly prescribed medicine in the United States. And I, I don't know, it's kind of hard to believe because almost everyone that comes into our clinic is on it, okay? It's used frequently for diabetic neuropathy and other nerve pains as well too. So it's more like a off-label use for uh, nerve pain. And the maximum dose is 2,400 to 3,600 a day. Okay, and, and remember that this is an anti-convulsant and anti-seizure medication. So how is gabapentin preventing someone from or help someone um, that has a seizure disorder? It does that by depressing your brain's activity so that way you don't have this overactivity of seizures, right? So, uh, it, you know, how would it be helpful for neuropathy pain is... Well, it's depressing your brain's activity, so you really are not going to feel much of anything, uh, you know, if it does work, right? So, um, first thing that I want to point out is gabapentin uh, carries a black box warning from FDA. Uh, and black box warning is the highest warning an FDA can issue regarding a medication for its sudden, um, for its potential to suddenly stop someone's breathing. We actually have patients who come in that says that they, they walk up gasping to breathe in the middle of the night soon after they got on gabapentin, okay? So um, gabapentin and uh, Lyrica actually both carry uh, black box warning, okay? And it's amazing how this dangerous drug is being given to almost everyone that comes into our clinic. I mean, they given to them by another doctor, okay? So remember I told you gabapentin uh, depresses your brain's activity. Well, what's going to happen to your memory if you take a medication that depresses your brain's activity? Well, your memory is going to be affected. So if someone takes gabapentin on a long term, um, the, the chance of memory loss, uh, age-related dementia, brain related disorders such as Parkinson's, Alzheimer's goes up substantially. And because it depresses the brain's activity, a lot of our patients describe the side effect as I feel like a zombie. Um, it can also cause blurred vision. As I mentioned, sudden stop of breathing and weight gain is another very famous one. Often patient will be sitting next to with a spouse and the spouse will like stare at the patient and go, is that why you've been so forgetful? Okay. Um, so gabapentin by far one of the most prescribed medicine for, um, for neuropathy uh, symptoms. <laughs> Second medication is Lyrica. It was mentioned earlier, again, Lyrica again carries a black box warning for its potential of um, suddenly stop breathing. It can also cause dizziness, lethargy, tremor, headaches, and it's also mildly addictive. And by the way, if you go Google these names, look at all this lawsuit, lawsuit that is being brought on to the makers of this medicine, uh, Pfizer and Eli Lilly, um, for all the side effect that these medications causes. And uh, this is a list of, um, you know, articles relating to gabapentin. And uh, here is one for uh, Lyrica. And I mean, if you type in uh, these medications, side effect and lawsuit, you're going to see a plethora of information of how their attorneys are specializing in lawsuits um, for the injuries or the damages caused by gabapentin and Lyrica. Okay. And the third medication is Cymbalta, which is a uh, generic name is Duloxetine and it is a antidepressant. 
Okay, so I don't know what to take of it. Why antidepressant became a drug of choice for neuropathy symptom? Is it because you're getting depressed from a uh, nerve pain that is unrelenting and there's nothing that can be done? Um, but Cymbalta also has a list of side effects such as um, it's, you know, it's addictive. It can cause a seizure. And any antidepressant has a suicidal ideation as part of the side effect as well, and also can cause liver failure. And, you know, you can, I mean, just a simple Google search will bring on a whole lot of results on how um, the damaging effects of this medicine. So I hope, hope this information was helpful for you. Um, these three medications, gabapentin, um, Lyrica, and Cymbalta are what I call the triple combination of most commonly prescribed medicine for neuropathy. And uh, you should be doing everything within your power to get off these medicine. Hope, this, uh, hope you found this information um, helpful. Thank you.